Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to date and or timestamp projects when they're completed and have those date and timestamps stay that way whenever you make modifications to your file or update the file in any other fashion. But before we jump into that, please take a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you will get a notice whenever I put out a new video. You can also find me at any of the social media sites you see here. So let's check out today's topic. So here's our scenario. I have a list of tasks here and I want to put an X in column F whenever I complete any one of those and have the date or time or both populate column H to indicate that it's complete and when that task was completed. So one option is to use a formula such as this using the now function. Now the now function I have that formatted so it will provide the date and time whenever an X is placed in column F. So I'm going to enter that formula in there, copy it down, and so now I have this formula if F5 does not equal blank then put in the now function else put in a blank. So if I go ahead and put an X that I've completed this task, notice it stamps 228 2013 at 11.22 and 13 seconds. Now we can change the now function to the today function, but that would mean every one that I do today will always show today's date and you won't see if anything changes. That's why I added the now function so we can see the different changes in time. Now if I complete another task, I hit enter, notice both times changed to 11.22 and 41 seconds. And that's because the now function and the today function are volatile functions, which means anytime you refresh or enter data into your workbook, it will automatically recalculate. And again, if I go ahead and complete another task, notice they all change to the same time, to whatever the current date and time is. So that formula is not the answer. However, let's try this formula here. I'm going to go ahead and copy that and paste it here and go ahead and copy it down. So what this formula says is if F5 does not equal blank, then if H5, which is the cell that the formula is in, is blank, then run the now function. If not, put in cell H5. So now if I put an X in column F, notice I get a circular reference error from Excel because the formula says if H5 equals blank, then run the now function. If not, put in H5. And so it's going to keep trying to enter itself over and over and over, which creates a circular reference. So how do we solve that? Well, if we go to the File tab, go down to Options, and under Formulas, we select Enable Iterative Calculation. Now probably in your formula, if you've never been in here, this probably has a maximum iteration of 100. It doesn't matter if it's 100 or anything less. I'm going to go ahead and back it down to 1, and then I'll say OK. Now it populated the date and time that I put in that X. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Now if I enter it again, notice I have 11.25 and 2 seconds. Now if I complete another one, I have 11.25 and 8 seconds. Notice this one did not change. And again, if I populate another, again, all of them stay the same. And if I go ahead and save this, those will remain at those dates and times and they won't recalculate whenever I reopen it. Now, there's one thing you need to be aware of in this type of scenario. Let's say I go and open up another file. I'm going to just open up this one here. <clears throat> and now when I go to the file menu, go down to options and to formulas, notice it also has enable iterative calculations checked. So the point is that every file that you have open will have that option checked. So the key is only have this file open when we're using 
that type of situation. Now if I go ahead and save this file, close it, and now open up that other file, and go to File, Options, and Formulas, notice it's not checked. It remembers that it wasn't to be selected with that specific file. I'm going to go ahead and close that, close this file, and now when I open my other file, my date and timestamp file again, it has those dates and times, they're stamped, it still retained what they were, and when I go to File, Options, and Formulas, it remembers that that box for Enable Iterative Calculations is checked, and the formula now will not have that circular reference. And that's how you can do this in Excel.